Hi, I'm Brianna. And I'm Akira. And you're watching Dante's Dante. Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? So I just wanted to give my thoughts on what seems to be a really good heavyweight bout that we'll see this year, and that is Shannon Briggs versus Lucas Brown. Now, originally we were supposed to get David Hay versus Shannon Briggs and Vladimir Klitschko versus Lucas Brown. But now we're getting this fight, and I think this is a great fight. You know, um, I'm happy for Shannon Briggs. Finally, he gets a meaningful fight. And he could prove if the resurrection of his career has just been a great promotion or it has truly been a resurrection. And he is that same undefeated Shannon Briggs that he was years and years ago. Because there was a time when Shannon Briggs was the best heavyweight prospect in the world. He was certainly the best American heavyweight prospect in the world with the speed and the reflexes of a welterweight and yet the power of a heavyweight. Shannon Briggs was a dangerous, dangerous heavyweight for anyone to face back in the day. So now we find out or we're going to find out if he can resurrect that. If he could bring some of that old magic dust back, if you will. Lucas Brown is one of the best heavyweights in the world, at least in the top 10. And this will be the first time Shannon Briggs will be facing a real heavyweight since he got knocked out by Vitaly Klitschko. And even when he fought against uh, Sergei Lakovich, and won the title. That was the last meaningful fight that Shannon Briggs won. But if there was anything I could take away from that performance is Shannon Briggs, he gassed out in that fight. Even though he found a way to stop Sergey, he gassed out in that fight. And matter of fact, the last opponent I watched Shannon Briggs face, which was on the David Hay undercard, Shannon Briggs, he knocked some guy out, I believe in the first or the second round. But I thought what was interesting is after Shannon Briggs threw all of these beautiful combinations, he looked like he got a little tired in the first round or the second round it was. It was one of those rounds. And all of a sudden, this guy who was a complete nobody that Briggs was facing, he started tagging Briggs with a couple punches before Briggs knocked him out. So that's pretty telling right there to me. And um, obviously, if he's getting touched up by a complete tomato can, he's going to have a hell of a fight against Lucas Brown. But hopefully, once again, the resurrection is real. And Shannon Briggs, he goes in there and he puts on a great performance along with Lucas Brown. And we get a great heavyweight match the WBA ordered this fight so it'll be interesting to see what happens it'll be interesting to see what happens I'll be talking more about this fight but that's all I got for now guys I'm on to the next one this is Bobby and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation